What's going on everybody, it's SVT Vasquez back at it with another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I build a driveway to the side of my house. Let's start the show. Alright guys, so this is how the side of my house looked like previously before I had any cement. Uh, this is a, a brand new home, so whenever you have a brand new home, there's no landscaping done in your backyard. That way the owner could build his landscaping uh, however he sees fit. And this was uh, perfect for me that way that um, I'll show you guys in a bit that... I want to build a driveway but we'll wait till we get to the other side as you can see my whole backyard it's just dirt and uh, I have a concrete slab over there just so that I could pour some place that I could come out and barbecue host people over and have a place where my daughter could play at and you could see this whole spot here is prepped just like the side of my house now i did do it in two phases this was phase one right here and the reason i had to split it up into two was because uh, i am a currently a student i'm not working at all so i didn't want to just throw all my money into uh, landscaping when i have other responsibilities as well but the important part is back here you could see this fence i ended up building a gate right there so as you could see right now is a fence i had to build a gate myself so i ended up digging uh putting down some posts and building a gate i'll show you guys later on how it looks but uh this is the area where i want the cement to uh, eventually be poured uh right here so that i could work on my car and this is very important because if you guys haven't seen my garage video i do have a gym in my garage all right guys so this is my garage as you could see it's a little crowded because i have uh, some storage back there i have my gym equipment over here and while i'm working out i have toys for my daughter for her to uh, be entertained and uh, let me get a good workout in while i'm in the garage so she's not just sitting in here being bored so it might get a little crowded in here and whenever i start working on projects taking out parts in my car there ends up being a lot of tools and a lot of parts laying all over the place. It makes a, a garage gym not that functional anymore. And usually when I'm working on a project, I don't need the whole car. For example, I want to eventually put in uh, boogie racing bushings in my IRS. So I could drive my car to the side of my house, drop the IRS and just bring the IRS itself into the garage. That way um, the car's not just taking up space in the garage and that will give me space to work out still and work on the IRS. So that's the reason why I wanted to build a driveway on the side of my house because I do live on the corner house. I could use the sidewalk uh, ramp to drive my car up into my garage. So I'll show you guys here. This is, um, this is already all the concrete finished. I didn't record phase two, but um, that would make for a boring video anyway. This is the walkway, how it's done, all the way from the front of my garage uh, to the side of my house. This area right here, uh, it's going to still be dirt. And the reason that it's dirt is because I want to eventually put artificial grass here in this area uh, in the future. And I might be doing a video about that later on too. But here in this area, uh, I do live in a very sunny and hot environment. I don't want to worry about having to maintain and water grass. Instead, I'm just going to pour, uh, put artificial grass here. And I'll show you guys later on in the future what it looks like. But So this is going to be a big help here. This is the driveway when it was finished. I already put the gate up. And uh, this is about 14 feet wide and maybe about 15 feet deep. And as you can see, I have my daughter's toys over there, her pool set up. And she could play while I work on my car and the fence is up. So I don't have to worry about her. Uh, leaving out of my sight uh, she could be in the backyard playing while I'm working on the vehicle 
and this is just gonna make my life so much easier and I'm gonna be backing up the car and driving it into the driveway so you guys could uh, see what it looks like and this is actually the first time I back out my car and uh, drive it up the driveway and I'll be sharing that with you guys so you guys could see the process uh, I wanted to make sure that my first drive I recorded it uh, that way you guys could see how it turned out at the end and um, this is pretty much my vision being complete here so let's see So here you could actually see the end product of my gate and the one thing that uh, was a little difficult is the the concrete slab is on a slope downward downward away from the house so building a straight fence uh, it took a little while to get it just right but as you can see I got it done and uh, when I close the gate you guys could see what the finished result looks like so here you could see actually how much space I have back here. I have a canopy to give me shade if I'm uh, washing my car or if I'm going to be working on my car. I could also just work on the car back here. Um, see, uh, there's a lot of room to work on. And I'm going to be putting my Borla exhaust uh, back in the car eventually. So that might be the next video that you guys see. Like I mentioned previously, there's about 50 feet. Uh, a depth and 14 feet wide so that's plenty of space to do any project so that's how the project ended up turning out guys make sure you guys hit the like button on the way out make sure you subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys on the next one peace I'm just all about this money, I don't think about no thighs Girl, you don't know about me, so get off my fucking D Born and raised in the thigh, this is real as you gon' see Girl, you don't know about me, so get off my fucking D